New York's experience with drug courts began in Rochester in 1995. Today, we have nearly 200 drug treatment courts in every corner of the state with more than 7,000 active participants and over 17,000 graduates. These include adult courts, family treatment courts, and juvenile drug courts. Research on drug courts shows a real reduction in recidivism among graduates. A recent study found that drug treatment court graduates were 74% less likely to have been convicted of a new offense compared with similarly placed offenders who did not receive treatment. Drug courts, personal stories, tells a few of the stories behind the statistics. Stories of people reclaiming their lives, able to work and study and care for their children and lead productive lives. Life before drug court was no life at all. I seemed to hit bottom after bottom and each one was worse than the one before it. All I cared about was me and my drugs. They were my best friend, lover, and other half. My life up until that point, um, up until family treatment court, had been very abusive. Uh, from the age of five, um, at the very early age of five years old, I had been molested. Um, there was different, uh, different series of events that were just horrible that no one should have to go through, especially not a child. And instead of getting help um, at a very early age, I think I started drinking about 12 years old. Um, I was constantly arguing with my ex-wife, and it got to the point where we were arguing so loud that my daughter, she started to cry, she was nervous. So that's when I decided to say, you know, we have to uh, go on separate ways, because, I mean, I can't see my, my child crying. Um, it hurt, it hurt, and she agreed. And, from, and after that, it's like, I went down, down, really down. I just didn't care. Didn't care about myself, but no one else. I just let go of life, period. Helpless, worthless, and not control my own life. And that was real. I remember, you know, trying to take a shower and looking down at my arms and just having all bruises and just crying. I tried rehab in other mental health situations. They never worked for more than a month. So my probation officer told me about drug court. Since that day, I've become the person I'm supposed to be. Oh, well, every time I came out of jail, I wanted to get high even more. I wanted to get, oh, the jail was so stressful. I mean, addicts do cause a crim do criminal acts, and they need to pay, you know, what the legal system says. But jail is not the answer for every addict. And it's a good wake-up call sometimes, but not the complete answer. They gave you an opportunity. They, they weren't just really quick in throwing you in jail. They wanted you to succeed. Um. And the same thing with jail. I would go to jail, I would get out of jail, and I would go right back to the street until somebody changed something or helped me to change something, nothing was changing. Uh, and I feel, you know, with the process of family treatment court and going through this process, they helped me to believe in myself enough to change my life, to know that I was worth something and that I am a good person. I just made bad choices, and that was hard for me to learn at first because I didn't believe that I was a very good person for a long time. Unlike traditional courts, drug courts create a personal bond between the accused and court officials. That support was, and still is, a tremendously important factor in my success. She was kind of tough at times, but she really cared, and you can see that she cared. Um, she didn't speak to you like most judges spoke to me. Uh, she, she let you know that she cared, and that made a big, huge difference. One of the proudest moments of my life was when the judge handed me my certificate of completion, shook my hand, and said good luck to you in the very courtroom where I had started this new journey. The day I graduated, I felt like I was at Harvard University, okay? Oh, that was, it was, that was a big accomplishment for me.
This is an exceptional program and it helped me turn from being a heroin user who was um, at one point shooting about seven to ten bags a day of heroin and to where I didn't have any hope at all to where right now I'm in a leadership role you know within my community and within my college um, and I'm able to look towards that American dream. It was awesome. It was a very it was a very beautiful day because of my life I had finally completed something. Even though it was family treatment court, it was um, a very big deal for me because I had never completed anything from high school to you name it, you know, and that was like the first thing I had ever graduated from. And it was it was it was awesome. It was very Not nice. everyone will succeed in recovery, but for those who do, having that one last chance is priceless. Most people don't have more than two chances in life. I've had like six. I didn't like the court system. I always thought the court system was out to get you. But now I don't see it that way. I see it as really the opposite. It's really give you opportunity to get help. I'm so proud that our courts can help to turn lives around, that we can do justice in the truest sense. I'm proud and above all grateful to every single person who makes this opportunity a daily reality for us.